Hey there, gang. Good to see ya. Unfortunately, we now have a lot to track in the tropics. We have two new tropical waves and Gabriel, which is a Category 4 monster over the open North Atlantic. And you'll notice both of these tropical waves are a little bit too close to the Southeast U.S. for comfort. Let's break it all down. Models are a little bit more bullish on development odds for both of these systems. We have two in close proximity, southeast of the Bahamas, near the Lesser Antilles, the Windward Islands, and eventually off to the east in the Central Atlantic as well. But both are drifting northwest, and you might think the one on the right is going out to sea, and the one to the left, the west, is more potentially impactful. Right? Not necessarily. Here's the thing. The Google DeepMind Artificial Intelligence Weather Model is doing something weird and bringing both of these systems farther west and closer to the US and potentially the Caribbean. The European model is also doing something really weird and kind of flinging one of these tropical waves and eventually tropical storms in our direction. Whereas the American GFS model, which is a dynamical model, not an AI model, never really develops the western wave and flings the eastern one out to sea. So something weird's going on. Let's kind of dissect it. Here are the two tropical waves on satellite right now. Both look decently healthy. The western one has a little more convection, thunderstorm activity, and the eastern one has slightly better symmetry and spin. So both are looking pretty decent. But in my experience, you don't get two tropical cyclones this close to each other without them interacting. That interaction is called the Fujiwara effect. And essentially, they might kind of dance around each other in a counterclockwise fashion. That might push the western one farther south, causing it to eventually come closer to us, or it might cause the eastern one to fling sort of northwestwards a little bit, also potentially bringing it closer. That's TBD. Alternatively, the western one's outflow or exhaust at the upper levels might kind of knock the eastern one off kilter, causing the western one to become dominant and increasing the risk of it potentially impacting us. Models, frankly, are very poor at handling how the Fujiwara effect will behave. It'll take another day or two before modeling really comes into agreement. For now, the big takeaway, there will likely be something off the southeast coast near the Bahamas in about three or four days time, towards the end of this week, and eventually heading towards the weekend. That something is worth paying attention to. The reason being, we simultaneously will have an upper level low, pocket of cold air, low pressure and spin, nestled in a jet stream dip over the United States. And as this thing propagates across the lower 48, it might eventually start to tug on whatever tropical system develops and pull it northwest closer to the coast. So for now, if I've highlighted you in the yellow, all I want is for you to be aware. Don't go out and buy your bread and milk. I mean, heck, you can stock up on wine and Oreos because those are good year round. But I just want you to be paying somewhat attention and know that in the coming days, it's probably prudent to check back for updates. Meanwhile, I'd also like to talk about Gabriel over the Atlantic waters east of Bermuda. Went from a category one to a category four in 18 hours. It rapidly intensified even faster and beyond our expectations and now has winds around 140 miles per hour. If we take a look at visible satellite, however, you notice the outflow, the high wispy exhaust, the cirrus clouds, are mainly pushing to the east of the system. There's not much exhaust to the west. That lack of symmetry is because the upper level winds are blowing west to east and they're becoming a little bit stronger, which I think will start to knock Gabriel off kilter in the coming hours and sort of hasten its weakening process. So it's basically peaking now and it will weaken beginning tonight. But the broader picture over the open North Atlantic shows two things. Obviously there's Gabriel, but then look at that mid latitude low, that, that non-tropical system off to the north. That's eventually going to sort of capture Gabriel. And what I mean is it'll do two things. Number one, it slingshots Gabriel to the east rather quickly. But number two, that mid-latitude feature will start to interact with Gabriel to transition the hurricane into a non-tropical storm. It'll still be strong, but it will sort of lose its tropical characteristics in the next two or three days. But that capturing and that dragging of Gabriel east takes it to a rather unusual place. The Azores, owned by Portugal, likely is a Category 1 equivalent Thursday into Friday, and maybe as we head towards the weekend, actual mainland Portugal as a tropical storm force equivalent. That's why the Hurricane Center is taking the unusual step of issuing a hurricane watch for the Azores. Now we see hurricane strikes every five years or so in the Azores. Uh, Ponta Delgada got hit by a Category 2 in 1926. I've been there. It's absolutely gorgeous, and the people are, are wonderful, incredibly kind. 
But if you live in the Azores, you should be planning now for widespread 50 to 80 mile per hour winds. And there's a chance that if this thing becomes non-tropical enough, it might develop a feature called a sting jet or like a wraparound stinger of wind in the backside that could raise gusts to the 90 plus mile per hour range. That remains to be seen, but I'm watching that very closely and I'll update that forecast probably tomorrow or maybe Thursday morning. In any case, the tropics have suddenly come alive and there's a lot to track. Fortunately, I'm watching this nonstop around the clock, as is the entire MyRadar team. Keep a tune to MyRadar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and above all, right here in the free MyRadar app. Follow MyRadar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa and Windows.